Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. That was lovely, wasn't it? A nice bit of uh, whistle to uh, start us off today. However, it was while I was trying to do the intro. Yeah, I should have guessed, really. It's our whistle board that we placed there, and it was approaching it. I just timed it awfully. Now, let's see if we can do a better job with our... Oh, it's our oil train. Yeah, we sat at Palmdale today because things were going a bit wrong, weren't they, last time? And I think we've sorted it out. There are a couple of things I would like to change, and they involve that train that is waiting to uh, travel through Palmdale Station. But before we do that and then head off to Athens and we're going to uh, set up a nice little truck run and a new service running down the Eastern Corridor and uh, we'll then get machines and food delivered to Athens via truck up the hill. And uh, there's a bit set up already. They had a road running down the, the mountain, which I upgraded. Before we do any of that, I'd like to thank David Randall for a super thanks. I absolutely forgot they were a thing. And uh, very much appreciated. But yeah, it gives us a chance at the beginning of the video. I'll give each super thank a mention. It's kind of nice for me. Because, as many of you know, I spent a fortune and went through loads of internet service providers to try and find one which was capable of providing stable upload so that I could live stream. We can't do that. So, um, yeah, I, I can't do any of the live stream stuff. And I guess super thanks are a, a sort of... What are they? Super chats? And a... Uh, bits aren't they on twitch but anyway yes i do want to thank david for that because uh, first off you reminded me it existed and secondly it was uh, a wonderful surprise so there we go shall we get on with some tweaks to the map today you eyes up where is our oil train right pause there's something that happens down here currently everything's running fine we've got our western corridor oil train the one that runs all the way up to chesapeake going over the bridge now which is lovely we have our second oil train that we added approaching the station and where he will wait would be just here so what i'm thinking is a little staging area for our two trains until production picks up we're going to move this signal as well and the signal is going to be back here it's unfortunate our train is running over there and that our other one is approaching rapidly. We only need this length, don't we? Which is not that long. So I reckon we can utilize this existing signal. No catenary. We might as well go fast track and we'll upgrade it. He can do 70, but I think 60 will be fine. And we'll waypoint him to make sure he always goes down this line. I don't really want him hurtling through there. What sort of speed can we get? 40? I I, do you know? I'll take 40. It's a round number. And I don't think we would have got much more given how the curve is. So our staging area for the yard and the bridge is going to be here. We could route the coal train. Is that the coal train? Talking of him. Yeah. We could route the coal train through this outside one as well and allow the... Uh, yeah, the oil train to go through, but I don't think it's necessary. Well, we could... No, no, just one. I was going to say we could do it. The thing is, the only train that's ever going to be waiting, really, to get in there is uh, our second oil train. So, yes, we don't need to do that. Right, signals. We'll have a... We'll have a gantry because you can't have these on the flip side of the track so we'll have that one at the top there they do want to be one way you go on there uh, we've only got a single route for this one can we get you on there and do you look too terrible you don't i love that it's added a bit to this end anyway 
But we're not done, are we? No. This needs to change. Well, these are the old semaphores. Look at that. This needs to change to a two head trackside signal. Now we need to change his route. Manage line. After the freight hub, you now go here and wait patiently for your friend. That is until uh, this has caught up. But that might be delayed due to the issues we had prior. We are going to add a couple more trucks possibly on the plastics run. Is that everything for that? I'd like to play it because I want to see what these uh, line rates are all about. And hopefully, he takes his new route. Please do. Ah, oh, come on. Can I flip you? No, that might have been a mistake. Never mind. Well, he's going to wait on the main line for now. I guess we could send this one off early. How much you got on there? Well, you're almost full, aren't you? This time around is probably not the issue anyway, because we had a backlog on here while our trains were snafu'd over at Palmdale. So, yes, this time isn't too bad. You're just going to have to wait at the bridge. No, get rid of that signal. No longer a signal there. Well, that's broken everything. Although, he's in the way anyway. He's in the way. It doesn't matter. This one will be leaving shortly. Uh, we're not going to have them wait here. That means that uh, they'll wait at these signals if they need to get in the yard or if there's another train crossing over here. Uh, which will work out nice. This is the only one that has the possibility to sit there for a long time waiting for his friend. But we've got a continuous uh, delivery of oil. You'll notice they're not full. Because we're limited to, uh, we're always going to be limited to the 200 regardless. This is going to fluctuate a little bit until things start to level out. I do want to show you, I've added a few passenger buildings to our bus stop over at uh, Palmdale Station. Just so there's a bit of waiting involved. I also changed this, you'll see it's less wiggly. What this does, if we uh, bring up the line details, if the orange one is departing, uh, the blue one can still get in its platform without having to wait for it. And uh, that's nice, isn't it? I've also got rid of the flat crossing on the on the main line there. It's uh, it steps over instead, a ladder type thing going on. Do we have anything we can do? over at uh, well yes actually we get a little bit full on this platform and i added a few more buildings at the back but what we can also do is swap a few of these because we don't need this much storage for a couple of passenger buildings instead i know they wait over at the freight but we can pretend they've little coffee shops or something you can watch the uh, trucks doing their stuff if you're so inclined or if it's uh raining which it never does in transport fever anyway it's so big montgomery has grown hasn't it it's kind of lovely so there we go we've got a few more changes there now we've got uh now we've got a mission on our hands we're gonna have to uh set up delivery of machines and grain we seem to have a lot of grain we're hovering around new trucks. I have installed a couple of American big rigs. You'll be pleased to know, but we won't see them until the end of the 1950s, the first ones. And then the next ones after that are in the 70s and 80s. Anyway, we're going to make do with the trucks we've got. Yes, we could run a train. But uh, I promised I'd do a bit of trucking. And in the US, that makes a lot of sense. Shall we add... Well, the first thing we could do... We could uh, swap these out, couldn't we, for the beefy boys. Oh, what are you doing there? What did we click on? Not everything. Manage vehicles. Let's replace you with these guys. What are we taking? It's grain as well as food, isn't it? Grain one way, food the other. So that's our only option is the carry-all. There we go. They're all 
rough anyway. So we've got a bit more capacity there. We're probably going to need a little bit more. In fact, we'll need the same line rate at the very least as our, our grain train here. Our trucks are at 105 currently. Our grain is at 197. We could probably increase, not the uh, delivery, but we could increase the other grain as well. So we're going to need a few more on there, aren't we? Yes. Manage vehicle. Let's add, should we say four? Five. I'm going to say five. Go on. Five new vehicles. There we go. That should increase the line rate a little bit. And uh, yeah, 157. Part of the issue is we wait currently up here to bring some food back. But I don't think we've got a lot of food. There goes all of our... Uh, uh, all of our trucks yeah because uh, consumers were taking most of it to Providence just down the road as it's a main supply uh, we're taking only 14 to Palmdale and 7 to Phoenix when Athens joins in and they start to grow uh, that's going to push up production in our food processing plant here what do we have down here? We obviously don't have enough. And this was supposed to be temporary. I'm just going to leave it like that. That's fine. Well, the line rate's 94. Not too bad. But we could add a, a few more of these on there, can't we? What trucks do you have? Well, I guess you could have the bigger ones. Like your friend. Uh, they're specialised, the beefy ones. We'll get you one. Then we'll get another, another four on you. Since this was only supposed to be... A temporary situation now it isn't now it's permanent we may need to bring some more farms into the equation as well as that picks up but uh, that should see us starting to take a lot more of our food look at that 1214 grain not individual grains of grain but grain uh, units of grain tons would be a bit excessive we have lots of storage. We are almost full though, which is a little bit concerning. Perhaps we've addressed it uh, before it becomes an issue though. There we go. There we go. We've tidied up a few more things. Now we can set up uh, a little run up to Athens. And what I think would be nice is to have a truck delivery up to a, a sort of terminus up here. Something like a, a, a warehouse out on the outskirts of Athens eventually it will get eaten into Athens but then we have uh, smaller trucks that go and deliver it once we've got more options on our trucks and I'd like I was looking at the lay of this it worked fine uh, until I wanted to put like a drop-off truck station up here so uh, we have some trucks doing this run up the hill uh, all the way from the station there and we're going to need to level this out so that uh, it's not terrible on the old junction work. So we'll take that close to the peak there and we'll flatten this section out. We'll make it nice and flat. We're not going to get rid of any buildings. That would be awful. It may not be perfectly flat, but we'll give it a go. It was heading up out of town or up and down. But eventually it'll be flat for us. That should give us our tunnel. It gives Athens a bit more in the way of building room. We'll bring that down there. I said I wouldn't delete anything. But well, I have. Now we need a, a drop off. And we're going to make these pretty beefy. There we go, guys. A few buildings on there. Now we'll get it all hooked up. We're also going to flatten around it. So it doesn't look too terrible. Wang all of that up to full. We want it the same level as the freight station. We'll give it a bit of a, a rock face around the back there. And a place for a tunnel to go. Let's get our roads connected. Uh, we're going to have to go out to come in, I think. It's a bit wonky, isn't it? Oh yeah, because of that building. We might need to get rid of that building. It's in the way. Don't delete all of it delete that we might have gone too far to be fair or i've gone too far uh, can you connect in there that angle would be nice 
I'm, what I'm hoping is it does a little bit of a curve so our 18 wheelers like travel round there let's see once we take that off there we go I mean it's a bit of a sharp curve isn't it I guess we could get it smoother perhaps let's put it on curvy and then we head out sort of that way yeah they might even build out here that's tidier isn't it because our our trucks should come that way, shouldn't they? And then in, or it'll be the opposite way. Whichever way, they need to uh, they need to be going either that direction or that direction. We'll make it work for them. Uh, I guess we could do the same here then. We could have left the building in now. I'll put it back in. I'll put it back in. You're going out there. You need to head out that way. And then, oh no, that needs to be rough. It's going to be rough for an 18-wheeler, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's upgrade you to a highway. And you are going to be the road that connects back up there. And hopefully with a tunnel. Beautiful. There we go. We've got a nice little tunnel heading into Athens there for our trucks. That's kind of cool. And it's heading down as well. This needs re-tidying though. That's terrible. Oh dear, there we go. Oh no, official episode. Then we'll tidy up. Oh, I didn't say official episode when I was doing it before. Yeah, I just snuck it in there, didn't I? Well, there we go. I've said it now. A little more official episode. Just to tidy it all up. Hopefully we've got enough in there. We have. Now we need to do something similar down at Athens. And probably on this little bit here. Should be fine. And this will be placed... The other way round like that and we'll link into that road big rig platforms we don't technically need a drop-off platform for this so we might leave that short and then we'll extend those just so we can have plenty of buildings down for storage when our big trains drop it off that should give us a decent amount of storage 525 plus 120 for its platform that should be enough we're taking about 300 and something right 320 325 i want to say is roughly what we'll be taking of different goods let's have this continue round we can hook up with that road can't we keep you flattish and then you need to hook into there, but straight. There we go. There we go, so they'll head out that way. Oh yes, we'll need waypoints in order for this to work, won't we? Because we don't have a one-way system. We'll put one there, and one there, should we wish to do anything else with them. And then back over to Athens, we'll have one that way. And uh, one that way. Visibility is key. And we'll also need a drop-off. We're not going to do anything spectacular with this drop-off. Or worry about whether it flips in the middle of the road. Because it just isn't busy enough yet. So we'll make that the drop-off point. And new line. You to there. It's going to be food and machines. So like a grey-orange that one will do lovely and here we go athens i guess it's just delivery straight up delivery anything it's going to be multi-drop mixture uh, we also don't want you on that platform so you're going to be two three and four there we go there's all the delivery trucks probably excessive wait until full we'll leave you at three minutes wait time and you can pick up whatever you like I mean, it's going to be end goods, but, uh, well, we'll leave them free to do whatever they feel like doing. Did you do the line right? I don't think you did, did you? No, you did a spin around, which I don't really like. So, Upper Athens, which is kind of cool. After Upper Athens, no, before Upper Athens, I need you to go through the, oh, no, not there. Park Street, after Park Street, because you go through there. There we go, that's nice. Yes, and our 18 wheelers are going to come in that way. Right then. So this is going to be uh, Athens Haulage, isn't it? This new one. Yeah. 
Okay, new line starting at Athens Halt. That works, I guess. To Athens, Upper Athens. Yes, and after Athens Halt, you need to go there. We may rename them. I'm going to colour you the same as your friend, as you'll be taking roughly the same stuff. And down here, well, first off, you need to be on platform two, as well as three and four. It doesn't matter what you take. And then after, uh, yeah, after, ooh, which way round am I doing this? Athens Halt, you need to be heading that way, don't you? So it'll be like that. There we go. Waypoint three, waypoint four. Five, I think we have it. We've got our depot down here, but we might add one up on this uh, curvy bit of road because it makes sense and is also a fun bit of scenery for us. Spin you right round. I'm not singing it. And you get in there. There we go. So you've got one up that end. We've already got one down here. Or they can get across. There we go. Yep. All the way up there. And we don't have big rigs yet, but it's all in preparation. Once we get them, we've got we've got homes for them immediately, which will be great. Right, can we hit play? Yes. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I got carried away. What else do we need? What else do we need? Well, we can put the trucks on here because they can wait for eternity. I, would, I don't want that to be the name. This is Athens Haulage, isn't it? Mixed haulage? There we go. Athens mixed haulage. That works. Let's get us. How many are we going to go? Eight? I think we'll just start with eight. And we don't know what they're taking. So they're all going to take uh, these. Yeah. Eight of you. Colour you the colour we chose. And get you on mixed haulage. And then up here we'll just have, I guess, three. Ooh, not there. Three will do, won't it? Five vehicles, you're going to take a mixture of things, get three on there, colour you, our colour, and you are on the delivery line, so that is a link now into our Athens freight terminus, or freight, I don't know what you'd call it, I mean it's a freight hub kind of, isn't it, uh, not quite though, it's not there for passing things off as such. Now we need a, a new line. This is going to be interesting. If we use this, this is where we drop off the food and the machines. And Boxcar Joe, that's not his name, is, is the train that stops on here, isn't it? I believe. Let's just see before we hit new line. Uh, yes, mixed goods, isn't it? Palmdale mixed goods is Boxcar Joe. That's not his name. Yeah, we could also get rid of this and have something fancier going on and have a throw station if this is too much, which it might be. Do we want this new boxcar service to wait? I think we do, don't we? A little bit. So should we go for a, a little bit of a, a rebuild here? We're going to lose connection. That instead is now going to be a functioning platform on the outside here for our new service. We could have the option of another track later on. That's what I like. So we'll just stick this down here as an option. Uh, because this is, I mean, while it's kind of necessary, it kind of isn't. <laughs> it's sort of in the way now, but we can rework it. Will we squeeze in there? It's kind of lovely, you do. Yeah, and this gives us a bit more storage, doesn't it? As well, this side. Cargo buildings. Where can we squeeze you in? If you can hook in direct, it, yeah, that's lovely. You hook in direct there, then we'll get, uh, ooh, can't get that one. What about, oh, we should be able to get one of those in though, right? Yeah, one of those in, that's perfect. And then a few of these, maybe actually a few of those with the, the bit of yard in front. 
So there's a lot going on over here. Then a little ramp up there. Oh, I'm excited, guys. Could we even have a few ramps up here, perhaps? Like that. Or, or even a little building that connects up that end. If you do. You do. That's too close. I mean, you could see it. And then it's ramp next to it. Hey, that's beautiful. Right then. That's got monstrous. Let's just delete that a second. Ooh, not... Ooh. Well, no. We can make this work. <laughs> It, uh, I've not given up on it yet. Right, you just curve round enough to kiss that, and then it looks a little bit more like a roundabouty type thing. I mean, it sort of works. That's unnecessary though, isn't it? It's a shame. Oh, then we delete the stop and everything. There we go. Yeah, it's just unfortunate now that uh, my, my fancy bush work is uh, ruined that's a better shape anyway i like that and then you can run by all right yeah just destroy it it's fine it's messed up anyway we'll redo that it's sort of there that's kind of nice isn't it we'll do some more work with it and it hasn't oh yeah what have you got to do don't be hitting anything buildings you need another drop off where our our little thing is just there on that side that should have fixed that issue. Beautiful. We still have a connection here. We still have a connection to there. Do you, do you touch that? Really? No, you don't. Oh, I got excited then. I think I clicked on this. He doesn't quite reach the other station. So we are limited on where we drop off, but we've got multiple places to drop off okay now that we've done all that work and we've tidied things up a little bit it's time to get us our uh, our service that's going to run from the freight hub and it's going to be uh mixed freight isn't it athens mixed freight and it's going to go all the way up here however we're going to do some work on our line distribution we've also got to tidy this up because you're going to be sharing the same no you're not are you you're going to be waiting on that one so phoenix freight hub oh yes let's color you you're going to be that color we don't have that color train wise and we need you on two there we go there and you're going to wait until full i think for eternity not sure about eternity I'm gonna go seven minutes lucky seven full load all minimum stop time i'd like you to wait at least a minute i don't know why i'm just going to do that and you are going to load food and machines at 50 percent each there we go you can use your mouse scroll wheel to uh move those uh, one click at a time for precision are you going to run through correctly? You should be running up this way. There we go. We've now got a train that uses this other track to do the other loop. And you should also be using the uh, freight bypass line down here. We have nothing using the bypass down here yet. We may do later on. In fact, it will be our big boys. They're not going to go up here eventually. Um, we're just going to let this run a while. And then we're going to shift them over. So now at Athens Farm, you actually need to be on P4. That is what you're doing. And you are doing everything correct there. Except after the freight hub would like you to go in there. And then you need to go in here. I know it looks a bit wonky at the moment because we're going to be changing... The other one. Eastern Corridor, plastics, boxcar goods, and uh, loose goods. Yeah, that look, that's pleasant. That is pleasant. Now this one, we need to do some changes. First off, at the uh, com mats, which is grain for us. I would like you to stop on two. You now separate from our oil train. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? This was the plan. 
and it's now starting to take shape. You probably wondered why we had double tracks here, but this is why. We both wait to uh, get in here, but that's fine. We may, may double that up. I mean, you've got to cross. Yeah, why are we crossing? That doesn't make sense, Grand. No, no, flip those around. <laughs> flip those around. I do want you to go via here, though. After, oh, where's Phoenix Signal? It'll be after that, wherever that is. So it'll be there. Just to make sure when we switch you back, you don't mess up anything. I'd like you to go back on that side. And then our boxcar goods. Uh, we'd like you to go signal. Well, actually, if we take signal two out, what are you going to do? Lovely. And then after signal nine, where's signal nine? Round there. Let's doubly make sure you go via that signal. And then they do merge, don't they? There's no, yeah, there's no pretty way of doing that, apparently. Unless we set, well, he's going through, isn't he? Yeah, he's going through. Could he not just continue round through here? Do we have him going past the signal? Yeah, we have him going past signal 11. What happens if we take that out? There we go. There we go. Oh, it's beautiful. This reminds me of banana and toffee. Banoffee. Yeah. Now I'm hungry. Excellent. Guys, let's get that service up and running. And then all of our cogs should start to whir. Maybe. Or it'll just go up in smoke. I'm not sure which. By vehicle. We're going to go with whatever our newest uh, diesel. Not diesel. Steam. Now the, the, yeah, these. Yeah, not the Virginian. The nickel plate road ones. The Berkshire, because I like these. We're going to have uh, 765 running it. We're going to get new locos shortly. We're going to take advantage of our uh, Steam mods. And these are going to be all box cars, but we'll colour them. I mean, some of them are going to be machines, aren't they? We'll go with some uh, grayscale, probably. How many do we want? That's what I'm not sure of. It's got to be an even number of wagons, because we are splitting it 50-50. I guess 324, right? Should do it. Yeah, and what am I missing? You're going to need one of those on the back. Oh, I've coloured it. I don't want it coloured. B default. How many is that? It doesn't tell you down here. It's mediocre, which is fine. Top speed of 75. We'll buy it. 36 million, 18. There we go. Guys, we nailed it. <laughs> we got it. Spot on. 324 capacity. You are going on boxcar goods. We've done it. We've activated the line. Uh, I don't know where you're going to go first. You're probably going to run down Athens way, which is fine. Because I'm not going to get you around there and it doesn't really matter. We have a brand new boxcar service running to Athens, which is going to take food and machines. It's two main requirements. It's going to get all sorts of things moving, isn't it? Oh, that is great. I love the way they crawl out of the, uh, the depot. Yes. I thought about putting uh, tracks in that have uh, speed limits attached to them. But it, it does make a bit of a mess if you track layout thing. You're, oh, they look good. Yeah, yeah the, the track selection ends up being like 450,000 track uh, selectors down here. Which is fine if you don't mind. I don't mind personally, but it just looks horrendous. So, should we go and see if that triggered demand in all the right places? I hope so. Let's see. Consumers. Hey, there we go. It's working. Athens has asked for some goodies. What about our machines? Moment of truth. Nothing for machines yet. Do we take machines? We should do, shouldn't we? Oh no. 
Why have I messed up on machines? Was it uh, what we're picking up at the station here? It could be. I'm going to double check. Um, see what you can see. Yeah, we are seeing. Where are your box cars? Manage line. Let's just double check. Machines? 50%. Food? 50%. We've got no other filters on any of our other lines. And Boxcar Joe drops off here, doesn't he? That's not his name. Yes, he does. It could just take a while. I'm a little worried. <laughs> Why are you not asking for our lovely machines over here? I mean, well, are you actually doing anything at the moment? Oh, no, you're waiting on stuff. Might not get any orders yet. It may want to ask for them when as soon as our wood gets here. We've got a bit of a wood issue. Oh, yeah, look at that. Our uh, oil train's already down to here. Here comes some wood, guys. Should we fast forward it? Get the wood down here. Come on. I don't want to go until we get this, this tick up. At least one. Please, just at least one. Because it's not actually producing anything yet. Oh, I want to change that. We'll do that last thing. Providing... Athens, Athens, come on, don't let me down, oh it's beautiful, guys what a way to end it, uh, not at that speed though, perfect, yeah I took this out when it should have really stayed in, this little section from here should really stay in, because it's only a single train, but what that means is when he's coming round and our stone train's heading that way, they don't uh, get in each other's way. Similar to what I did over at... I should do. Over at uh, Palmdale with our station entrance. So if we bring that up now, when he's heading... Uh, what is this? Southbound, isn't it? When he's heading southbound and we have a train heading northbound. And they don't get in each other's way. There. There we go. Happy. I mean, we could put this back here. It doesn't really matter where that is as there's only a single train to worry about. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. I did. We're on board our brand new service. Yeah, heading to the farm. We are waiting on a freight train that crossed in front of us. Do you know what I forgot to do? Route this onto the freight lines. So I'll fix that before the next episode. Yeah, absolutely did forget. That one in front of us should have crossed over. It should, however, make for some uh, interesting shenanigans on this line until I do change it. It's only one train, and he's sort of express, isn't he? Maybe we could have an express freight train sharing the line with our uh, passenger service. I mean, they do eventually go on here anyway. The other delivery train, which is the one we're hopefully waiting on up there, which I think it is, isn't it? Yes. It's the one heading to Chesapeake. We get to monitor this goodness when we come back. See if we start to get quite a bit more in the way of machines. Shifted over to the Phoenix Freight Hub. And uh, I'm a little excited to see how that's all going. It was great to see the orders coming in, wasn't it? We know it's working. Oh, you're cheeky. Look at that. The big boy is bigger and faster than us. Well, we did have to wait. Oh, that's marvellous. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and until next time, take care.